The arrival of digital radiology and three-dimensional imaging has revolutionized dental health care, and as a result, the dental profession is experiencing amazing advancements in the area of diagnostic imaging. Digital radiology has several uh, advantages compared to analogical radiology. Uh, the 3D portion of it, it's what it makes it very exciting in the sense that we have superimposition of structures, we have superimposition of anatomical landmarks that unfortunately we cannot diagnose on the two-dimensional imaging. The 3D radiology added the depth of field to, to those images and it's extremely important. What we have now is the ability to see detail and to see anatomical landmarks without superimposition. It makes it very exciting for dentistry. With these recent advancements in technology at the disposal of the dental community, dentistry has hit the tip of the iceberg. Now, more and more dentists, specialists, and researchers are able to use 3D imaging applications and technology in their practices. 3D imaging has changed what we can do. It's taken most all of the uncertainty out of uh, my treatment experience. Um, I get more definitive results and I know how the case is going to turn out before I even start it because I know everything about it. In the past it was a discovery process during treatment. Now I know most everything and just go in and get it done. Jay Morita founded in 1916, is setting the standard for others to follow by providing superior image quality, as well as placing patient safety at the forefront of ongoing 3D research. We have been placing patient safety at the head of all of our imaging research. Specifically in 3D, our first unit was the Acuatomo, which is still Rolls-Royce of our line, and has image sizes being able to take something as small as a single tooth up to and including the entire head and neck region of a patient. Our other line is the Veriview Epox 3D, which is a true multifunctional unit, meaning we've been able to combine the utilization of high-end, high-resolution 2D imaging along with multiple fields of view of very clear, very low dose 3D, all in the size of a normal panoramic to fit better into the private practitioner's offices. Morita's 3D units offer the lowest dosage available on the market, a mere fraction of a full mouth series of x-rays. With seven different fields of view available, the clinician is able to choose a small or large region, matching the area of interest, minimizing dosage to the patient. Every single generation has dropped the dosage considerably by the use of high-end sensors, as well as engineering capabilities to capture an image much quicker than normal. In addition, we've been able to develop something quite unique to Jay Morita, and that's our DDAE, which stands for Digital Direct Auto Exposure. That function continuously monitors the density throughout the pass. That also has a double function in that that control of the KVNMA continually keeps the dosage to the patient at the lowest amount needed for a good image. Our exposure times are down to an industry leading 9 seconds to 14 seconds on a high resolution image compared to our competitors where they're 20 to 40 seconds and where most companies have exposure levels of equal to or multiples that of a full mouth series of dental x-rays our exposure levels presently are a mere 10 percent or less of that of a full mouth series of x-rays. Jay Morita's 3D product line offers a minute voxel size as small as 80 micrometers. This superfine voxel, combined with up to 14-bit grayscale capability, displays an amazing level of clarity never before seen in the world of 3D imaging. Jay Morita offers the highest level of clarity currently available in the industry. These super high resolution images help improve the diagnosis of difficult to detect problems such as root fractures, ancillary canals, periodontal defects and more. In dentistry we have several types of pathologies. We have what I like to call micropathologies. You know sometimes a, a tooth will crack and that, that crack it's you know tens of millimeters only. However the consequences for the patients are devastating and unfortunately two-dimensional images are not able to show those pathologies clearly and even three-dimensional images if they don't have enough resolution we are not going to be able to see those very very small pathologies such as a crack on a tooth and when you have images that have extremely high resolution and the micro is the key component for to diagnose those tiny little pathologies that actually have huge impacts on patients' lives. The autofocus mode, it's a feature every single time a patient 
its positioning for, for a scan on that unit, the computer will record that distance. Every single time the patient needs to be repositioning uh, uh, for another scan, even years later, all he needs to do is be placed back on the machine and the machine will know where the focal trough and the anatomical landmarks of that particular patient is, making the operator's job very, very easy. Jay Morita believes that patient protection is paramount. Their units are manufactured to offer a safe and extremely accurate method to diagnose problems. The ability to switch from a two-dimensional imaging to a three-dimensional imaging without having the practitioner touch or need to change or move the sensors is a very good value, a very high value for both speed and time of acquiring the images as well as avoiding the possibilities of dropping something that has a replacement cost of over $125,000. In addition, Veraview Epox 3DE offers a true panoramic image, not a reconstruction. It is perfect for all aspects of general dentistry, as well as endodontics and periodontics. The regular 2D panoramic patient, or the traditional 2D panoramic imaging, uh, has a higher resolution, faster uh, acquisition time, and at the same time, you have a very low radiation dosage. Now, when you choose to go to a pan to a, for a panoramic reconstruction, uh, you have to acquire the whole volume. So now you have other structures that you have to look for. The, the radiation dosage is much, much higher, tens of times higher, and a lot of times the resolution will be low. Jay Morita has been at the forefront of dental technology for decades. With a current engineering staff of almost 200, Jay Morita continues to shape the direction of digital dentistry. The low levels of radiation in cone beam CT uh, technology, especially Morita's unit, allow me to scan every one of my patients uh, before I start doing root canal therapy. Especially with endodontics, with the cases that we get, that's a game changer. Uh, my machine had three different fields of view, so if I wanted to get really small on the absorbed radiation, uh, I could do a 40 millimeter uh, volume and that, that's quite a bit better than doing the larger scan that most machines are, are stuck with. The future at J. Morita is bright. We see continued reduction in dosage with our existing units as well as future units. As clinicians continue to search for superior diagnostic capabilities and patient protection becomes a prevalent topic, Jay Morita will advance its research efforts to break new ground with cutting edge technology and diagnostic imaging. For more information on Jay Morita units, visit jmoritausa.com.